Okay, here we have question 11, which is a construction question. Um, well, it's, it's finding a, a sort of boundaries using constructions question. Now, I've had to scale this question as best I can so that it represents the, the what it should look like on the exam paper. Um, but it's not going to be completely exact, but the, me the method I'm going to show you should, uh, should stand you a good step for questions like this. So we're told two radio stations A and B pick up a distress call from a C bow to C. The station A um, can tell that boat is between 60 and 80 kilometers from A. The station B can tell the boat is between a bearing of 50 and 60 degrees from B. So if it's going to be between 60 and 80 kilometers from A, what we need to do is to measure all the points that are between 60 and 80 kilometers. Now I could get a ruler out and start trying to do that one centimeters ten. So we go between six and eight centimeters away from A, but it's a bit tricky to put all the points on there. Um, it's nowhere near as accurate as it would be if I used a compass. So if I get a compass out and mark on my compass um, six centimeters, and then. Uh, my compass on the point A. Move my ruler out of the way. And mark all the possible points there. Well, it's a it's a a boat, so it's at sea, so we don't really need it on the land. That's at sea. So that's uh, six centimeters. Um, now I need to measure out eight centimeters. So get my ruler back again. That's six at the moment. Move it out to eight. That onto A and mark on eight centimeters. So I know my boat must be between those two lines. So that's one one thing done. Now I need to mark on the angles that it could be from B. So I'll need a protractor for that. Okay, and uh, it's on a bearing of 50 and 60. Bearings are always measured from north, so we need to move our protractor around to north. And we want 60 degrees, which is there. So we just put a little mark on 60. Okay, there's my 60 degrees, and then I need to draw a line on that bearing, so that's 60 degrees through that point. Okay, so that's 60. Oh, the bearing is 0, 060. Zero. Um, then I want a bearing of 050. Zero, zero. So come back to here. Mark on 50. Okay, um, now there's probably a little bit of a inconsistency going on here because uh, my scale is probably not completely correct, but uh, the area I would shade in to represent those points would be this area in here. And possibly on the other side here, but I'm guessing that if I would draw this Accurately on the exam paper, that wouldn't be there. Okay, done.